So today let's explore this radiation sensor donated by Aranet. It's basically an ionizing radiation monitor which can display the dose rate and the cumulative dose on its display. But you can also access more detailed data, history and settings using a smartphone application. And this sensor is a part of a series of home sensors made by Aranet. So let's take a closer look at it. Let's take it from the box. And here's the sensor. And you can see it has a digital ink display on it. Similar to the ones on digital book readers. And this type of display only draws power when it's changing its state. So the batteries can last very long. And here's the battery space. It runs on two double A's. And there are also some switches for settings. You can enable or disable the Wi-Fi module, Bluetooth, the beeper and change the setting of the units in sieverts or rams. And under this sticker there's the sensor. It says sensor to surface distance 15 millimeters. And of course the display, being a digital ink, still shows the last reading. I already briefly tested it using different batteries, but now let's put the batteries into it that come with it. I was curious, so I just had to test it before making the video briefly. Let's put the batteries into it. Let's put the cover on it. And now it's measuring. It shows the time of operation, the accumulated dose and the dose rate. Now it's in microsieverts per hour and three colored levels indicating the amount of risk. And the reading on the display seems to now refresh every five minutes. And now you could see the typical digital display refresh. And occasionally you can hear a beep when a background radiation particle hits the sensor. And another refresh. Now of course let's take a look at some specification and information. It works from 70 to 1500 kilo electron volts plus minus 20%. It measures the dose rate and the accumulated total dose. And it shows green under 0.2 microsieverts per hour, yellow from 0.2 to 10 microsieverts per hour, and red for over 10 microsieverts per hour. It connects to a free Ethernet home application, records the data from the sensor for up to 60 days, and of course later I will also try this application. And it's using a pin diode as a detector, so it's a solid state detector instead of a Geiger counter tube. It's sensitive to gamma, beta and x-rays, calibrated using gamma radiation from cesium-137. It measures the dose rate from 0 to 1000 microsieverts per hour, or 100 milliramps per hour, with a 0.01 microsieverts per hour resolution, or 0.001 milliramps per hour, which is basically 1 microram per hour, and for higher dose rates, three significant digits, and the measurement intervals are 1, 2, 5 or 10 minutes. The default is 5 minutes, and above a certain threshold it shortens the interval to 1 minute. And the range is for the total dose, and some other specifications, temperatures, humidity, dimensions, weight, batteries, the Bluetooth, the data transmission interval is probably the same as the measurement interval, and the battery life for alkaline or lithium batteries with the Bluetooth off or on, and at various measurement intervals. Depending on the conditions, the battery life can be about one year to six years. And also the length of the historic data depends on the measurement interval. And now the digits are solid instead of hollow. Maybe it required some time to settle and get more accuracy. And in the box there is also some warranty. And this. Is it to change the settings? Maybe I'm not supposed to change it while it's running, but let's try it. It switches to RAMs and milliramps per hour. And of course I'm an absolute idiot when it comes to smartphones and applications, but let's try to install it. And they're also making a CO2 sensor, which I definitely also like to try. And there is a QR code, which I don't know how to scan, but let's try to just look for Aranet and this pops up and let's install it. Let's open it. It requires some code. Well, this one actually says the code. And now I can see it on the phone. Some history probably. Here's the history. Here's the total dose. The dose rate. And the settings. Serial number. Here's the refresh frequency. Buzzer. 
on or off and the first timer every time it gets over 10 micro sieverts per hour bluetooth range smart home integration this seems to be the background here And now, of course, let's make it read a bit more. It's beeping. And of course, it's getting into the red. This is a Soviet watch. With radium dial, let's try a beta source. Strontium ninety from an old Geiger counter. Also beeping. Not beeping. Beeping. This is in the same ballpark. Let's try americium two hundred forty one from a smoke detector, and it's an alpha source. This one is not sensitive to alpha, it seems. With an alpha source, it reads basically just the background. But also at a faster refresh, the accuracy for very low levels might be worse. A thorium lantern mantle. A uranium glaze cup. And some uranium glass, which contains less uranium than the orange uranium glaze. Four percent thoriated tungsten welding electrodes. And the nano end. The sensor doesn't seem to be as sensitive as a Geiger counter tube. It's not beeping as often as this one is clicking. But it can still get good accuracy if it's averaging over a long enough time. But unlike a Geiger tube, it doesn't require a high voltage power supply, so it draws way less current and it can run on batteries for several years. And it seems to be also able to run on nickel metal hydride cells. But now, of course, the internals. There are two screws, so let's remove them. And let's take a look inside of it. Here seems to be the pin diode sensor, some microcontroller, maybe it's crystal, some discrete resistors, capacitors. Here is the beeper, the calibration button, this switch for settings, some tantalum capacitors, some ceramic capacitors, and a small chip. Maybe a transistor or a voltage regulator here. And can I see the other side of it? Here is the display. And not much else on this side of the board. Well, there is something. Mostly capacitors, some diodes, a small inductor. Not sure what's this. Some spacer. And it's interesting how on the back of the display you can see the inverted image of what the front is showing. Black on white. Here it's white on a black. Some details. And the microcontroller. And the sensor. And here's the background monitoring history over several days. And this is from testing various sources. And of course also in the settings the warning thresholds can be changed from default to custom. And here you can set the values. And the total dose. And that's it. It's a very interesting product. I will probably put some links into the description. Thanks Arnett for the donation and if you like my videos, please consider supporting my channel on Patreon using the thanks button and subscribing. And a big thanks to all of you who already support me.